What's going on, YouTube? Hey, we're back again this week. Sorry about that last week, but, uh, you know, a couple wasp things to the dome, and uh, all of a sudden you don't feel like making a video. It's weird. Anyway, hey, look, check it out. It's the Hot Tub Aquaponic Garden. Uh, doing awesome over here, as usual. Uh, gotta keep my eye on these wasps over there, because apparently uh, they're still in warring mode. Got the awesome rain coming down on the greenhouse. Gotta love that sound. Probably annoying in the video, but I love it when it's in person. Got mosquitoes biting me, so let's get into this. Um, anyway, let's jump past this first bed. Let's hop over here. Water level, pretty doggone nice and big. Or big. It is nice and hot. I have this one fish right over there. I don't know if that's picking up. It's right there by those bubbles. See it? It's like real light colored. Looks like it's trying to die, but at the same time, it looks like it's just swimming within those bubbles. So, kind of concerned about that guy. Not sure what's going on, but just fed these guys. Like I said, water level's nice and high. I saw a nice big school of them. Uh, oh, there's some over there, some over there. Whoa! You see that? That Maybe that fish is... No, it's swimming around. Okay, I thought maybe that fish is dying. It, like, wandered right over there by the bubbles and got shot up out of the water and <laughs> back around. Hope you saw that, but any, if you didn't, then I sound like an idiot. Uh, but anyway, yeah, every, all the fish are doing great. Haven't seen any floaters, so that's always great. We're right over here. Got a big old stack of cups from uh, the planting I did with the super hot. Um, right over here with my dead bed. If you remember, I killed this entire bed and brought it back with uh, peas. Oh, look, a weed. Uh, peas, brock, or peas, and um, cucumbers. These are the cucumbers. These all died off. And uh, as you can see, some of the older growth is starting to die off here and everything. Which, if I recall, that's what happens with uh, vining stuff. The older leaves just start dying off. Could be wrong, but... Got a bunch of flowers in here popping off. We've got new cukes starting. Like this little guy right over there. Looking very nice. Another little cute right over here. Looking awesome. Uh, flowers, like I said, everywhere, all over the place. These guys are going all the way across. They go all the way over to the Malabar, and they're starting to vine up. Look, this guy's going, taking the easy road. He goes right up. Uh, if I come back around this way, got some more hanging off over here. Looking awesome. Beautiful flowers. Got a weird little... Oh, that's really weird. Okay, I didn't see that. That needs to come off. We're not going to talk about that. Um, but there's more... Hey, look at that. That one's kind of doing the same thing. Very weird. All right, that one's coming off too. Um, but everybody else is doing okay. Why can't I find any of the cucumbers? Here's one right there. Looking nice. There's another one right over there. We'll get to the rest. Well, there's one right there. Looking awesome. And this whole vine is going right up that rope. Going to the top of the greenhouse, hopefully. But, uh, yeah, the rest of them, they're kind of trellising there, looking very nice. Got flowers everywhere. The fish are doing great. Uh, rosemary over here. I haven't had a second to pull the rosemary. I had a second, and I ended up uh, bringing these super hots here <laughs> out into the greenhouse. So, at least one thing is done. Um, I'm looking around. I don't know what the heck that is. Um, maybe that's more bok choy popping right up. But whatever it is, there's another one right down there, and it's looking awesome. Wow, is this rosemary smelling so good. Wow, man, I don't really like pine, but uh, and that's kind of what they smell like, but man, that stuff smells really good. Um, I still need to find a new place for them to go. Looking right now, trying to see if the roots are growing into the bell siphon. I don't see it, but I'm sure it's happening. Uh, another little beautiful guy over here. Hey, look at that. I can actually make rosemary grow. Woo! Um, I hear it's not hard. <laughs> but uh, that's according to my neighbor, um, who is really good at growing rosemary. Uh, we've got more rosemary over here. Nice, beautiful bush. Like I said, I've said this all summer long. I just haven't had a second. I need to pull all of these guys out. Another big old one right there. Uh, this one right over here is kind of dead looking, but it's got this awesome little offshoot over here looking great. The wasps are staring me down. In case you wanted to know, there they are, right above all my plugs, right below my switch for the light. Yeah, right where all the action happens. I'm, I'm recording you guys. I got you on video, and it doesn't mean anything to them. Um, 
Here are a couple cucumbers. I'm keeping my eye on these wasps. I now have five of them looking at me where I had one a minute ago. Here's another little cuke over here. Hopefully everything's going A-OK. -okay. I'm coming around to the side. I'm getting the heck away. One is circling me. I'm not going to pay attention to them. Um, dead growth here. More flowers and everything hanging off the side. I don't really see anything else but flowers and stuff. More rosemary. Hey, look at my pepper. Hey, I forgot I even had this pepper, actually. There's a bud right there. Another bud on the other side. Looking very nice. Look at this little guy. Heck, yeah. That might be my pride and joy. Because uh, from my experience, I've heard other people say otherwise, but from mine, growing peppers in aquaponics really is not the most fun thing to do. They do not want to take to it. And this guy, actually, look at that. We got roots popping off down here at the base. So, I don't know. Maybe he likes it so much that he wants to grow even more. Here's a nice little offshoot of rosemary popping up. Big old bushes there. Another one right behind it. If you can just see the dark spot, that's the rosemary bush. Same right over here. Another one right there. One right behind it. Another one right over here. Feeling more comfortable now that I'm getting away from the wasp nest. There's still five of them looking at me. And, uh, actually, look at that. There's, uh, it's not really going to show up. But there's a dragonfly hanging out right above them. Hmm. Anyway, all right. Uh, back to the garden. Got the hydro tube still not in use. I got to find a shallow root plant because these are two-inch cups. And I was doing strawberries. And to be perfectly honest, strawberries are too much of a root-producing uh, plant to have them in there. Uh, like I said, fish are doing great. Yeah, a bunch of these guys are all hanging out by the water, or uh, by the aerator. Um, I love to aerate the heck out of my stuff. Um, right over here, I guess this would be my lettuce. Got it flowering all over. Need to like move it over. Man, look at this. Tons of Malabar berries everywhere, all over the place. And uh, yeah, move them over here so they drop into the bed so I get volunteers. And then we, well, then we're on to the um, cukes right here, coming right up, looking very nice. Got a little tiny cuke right there, looking great. Trying to peek around the corner, I don't see anybody. Oh, there's one right over there, you can see that guy. And uh, this guy just starts tre uh, trellising right up here, it's into the Malabar. And that other guy is looking great. There's a cuke right there, and it's starting to go up. Some weird little bee. And then we're down to just Malabar. It's a vine, if you're new. It's a vining spinach. And uh, it is definitely vining. It is going nuts. These uh, little green berries are what they start off like. The black berries are pretty much when they're done. Uh, these are the seeds within there. So, ooh, yeah. I guess I can do that. Hey, how about you? can't go anywhere in this greenhouse without stumbling across a praying mantis. Look at the size of that guy, looking great. Not really looking at me, so that's kind of different. I got a mosquito on my arm, sorry for the camera. Oop, missed him. Ah, didn't grab him. Anyway, uh, nice little praying mantis right there. And uh, the Malabar, look at this. Look at that. Just seeds everywhere, goes all the way to the top, all the way back down, loops back around all the way to the top and then back over here so we've got quite an amount of uh, Malabar here this year um, so I guess I'm gonna have to do something with that um, what else do I have I guess I'll get back around to the side here oh my praying mantis friend did the same thing uh, here's a better look look at that just beautiful looks like it was made to be uh, backside here of all of the uh, uh, plants here looking great right down here got a bunch of volunteers because my stupid filter is leaking even though Let's go ahead and look into it. It isn't barely getting any amount of water and the amount that it is It's just leaking right out. So not even enough to get to the top and overflow back into the uh, uh, Into the tank. Here's another nice little cuke right there. Got another little one right over here looking great on its way to the top here we fix him, we'll climb on up, um, and just berries everywhere, these berries, 
That's what they look like when you pull them off. <laughs> Here, look, we'll just drop it in there. Oops. Into the bed. Ha <laughs> ha. Volunteer. Um, oh, look at that. Right over here, got another right with my miscellaneous parts on top of the filter. Another little cute popping right off there. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, that's my walk around here. I think that's enough of my voice for this week. So thank you so much for hanging out with me and checking out everything that's growing on here in the aquaponic garden, uh, the hot tub aquaponic garden. We do these videos on uh, Tuesday. Uh, usually on Monday, we'll come back here, look at my beautiful super hot peppers. Um, but the aquaponic garden here, the hot tub one, is on Tuesdays with the goldfish. And then the Lava Rock aquaponic garden over there with the catfish is on Thursday. So if you're new, hit that subscribe button. If you're not new, or even if you are, make sure you hit that thumbs up, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Make sure you go down in the comments down below. Make sure you leave a comment. Not for me. Well, you can for me. But... It's not really for me. I'm just trying to give back to the whole community. Throw a comment down below. You should go down below and check out all the comments and find uh, check out those people and find the people that you want to subscribe to. Subscribe to those people and we will just help each other out this way. Steal this idea, by the way. It's yours. Um, do it on your own channel. Um, I also have an Amazon link down below if you wish to help me out uh, financially. All you have to do if you're doing any Amazon shopping, click on that link. It'll take you to a search for Master Blend. Search for whatever you want. I get credit for driving them traffic. They give me kickbacks on the backside. I don't know how it works. Uh, I've got a Bitcoin link down below if you know what that is. Make sure you do the comment thing. Um, uh, if you're new, subscribe, blah, 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 all kind of stuff. And that's about it. Uh, yeah, so everything's doing great over here, and I hope everything's doing great over there. So that was my video for this week. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I will catch y'all in the next video. So, till then. Oh, I do have an Instagram. I feel like checking that out. I don't do much over there, but it's there. Anyway, that's me for this week. From the uh, Hot Tub Aquaponic Garden, thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I will catch you all in the next video. Till then, later. The size of that freaking horse fly. Black fly. I don't know, biting fly. That thing is gigantic. It's on a 110 cord. At least that helps you, uh... Yeah, here's my finger. big that thing is. It's gigantic. <laughs>